I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very important question on compound angle trigonometry. The question is find the exact value of cos of 13 pi by 12. Now the method which I prefer to do is first simplify cos of 13 pi by 12. Let us understand this. Okay. Let's say that's our coordinate plane. When we say cos of 13 pi by 12 that means the angle is kind of like here, right? So if I start with 0 and I divide each part into 12 equal parts, that pi, then I have 12 pi by 12 here, which is pi, correct? Now, one more than that will give me 13 pi by 12. That means this angle here is pi by 12, right? This angle here is pi by 12. Now, if I extend this, then the vertically opposite angle is also pi by 2. Is that okay? And therefore, I can write this in terms of cos of pi by 12. Now, as you know, in quadrant 3, cosine is negative, right? You know, all are positive in quadrant 1, sine is positive in quadrant 2, tan in 3, and cosine is positive in quadrant 4. So, cos of 13 pi by 12 is going to be negative. If I am writing it in terms of the related acute angle pi by 12 in quadrant A, in quadrant 1, all are positive. And therefore, I have to write this cos of 13 pi by 12 as equals to negative cos of pi by 12. Right? This is very important to understand. Right? So, in a way, those of you who know fairly well, this is writing as correlated angles, right? So these are correlated angles. So that's not an issue. But here is the concept which I'm trying to explain. And that's a very important concept. Now, we could write pi by 12 as combination of two angles, which we know about. So uh, let's see how to do that part. So it is cos of, I need just pi. So that means I could write this as 4 pi minus 3 pi. Do you see that? 4 pi minus 3 pi is pi, right? So I'm just showing you steps of doing things. 4 pi minus 3 pi. And I can rewrite this as cos of 4 pi over 12. Right? Normally, when you're doing it in exam, you don't have to show all these steps. But for me, so that's clear to all my viewers on internet, it is important. So I could write it like this or further I could simplify this as cos of pi by 3, right? 12 divided by 4 minus pi by 4. So that is what you get. Well, some of you could have written it directly from here that cos pi by 12 is cos pi by 3 minus pi by 4, right? But I want to explain you how easily we can actually get the combination. Now, once you have the combination, then you can apply the compound angle formula for cos pi by 3 and then solve, right? So, that's, that's the issue. Now, here, again, we have pi by 3 and pi by 4. We'll take care of these from accurate special triangles. So, pi by 3 triangle and then we have pi by 4 triangle, correct? So, these are our triangles to take the values from. Pi by 3 means that is pi by 3 and the sides are 1, 2 and square root of 3. For pi by 4, we can take sides as 1, 1 square root 2 or we could also take square root 2, square root 2 and 2. So that those are the sides which we are going to consider to evaluate. Correct? So these are the right triangles. Now, let us expand using the cos A minus B formula. Now, if you remember, what is cos A minus B? Let me write the formula here. Cos A minus B is cos A cos B plus sin A sin B, right? Sin A sin B. So, we'll use this formula to expand and then these triangles to write down the exact values. So, what we have here is we are working with minus cos of, so we'll write minus this is this minus cos of. So let me write 
brackets here so that becomes very clear and I'll expand using the formula so we have cos of pi by 3 cos of pi by 4 plus sine of pi by 3 times sine of pi by 4 correct so now we have cos pi by 3 is half so we'll write this as half pi by 4 is square root 2 over 2 so times square root 2 over 2 and sine pi by 3 is a positive over hypotenuse square root 3 over 2 and sine pi by 4 is square root 2 over 2 correct now let's combine these common denominator is 4 for us right this is 4 and the numerator will be so we'll take common denominator of 4 and here we have square root 2 and 3 times 2 is 6 plus square root of 6. Is it okay? And minus is outside. So we could write this as minus square root 2 plus square root 6 over 4. That is how you can exactly find the value of cos 13 pi by 12 as an exact ratio. Correct? So that is the answer. If you take the triangle, which is 1 over square root 2, then you need to rationalize at the end. So I avoided that by using uh, the value square root 2 over 2 for sine of pi by 4 and cos pi by 4. I'd like you to go through this video, understand the methods, and do similar questions. Right? You could now also do as a practice question. Let me write your question now. Evaluate and find the exact value of sine. 23 pi by 12 right so you can find exact value of sine 23 pi by 12 i hope that helps thank you and all the best